All right, what's going on guys? Willis Gaming here. We're back again with another Borderlands 3 video. So just like we do normally every week, there's a hot fix on Borderlands. Uh, we're going to be going over this week's, I guess, patch, uh, taking a look at the nerfs and the buffs, what they're doing to our beloved Vault Hunters. Uh, so if you guys enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like. Let's try and get a thousand likes on this video. That would be awesome. And if you guys would like to check out any cheap games, be sure to head over to g2a.com and use my code Willis. Now, yeah, let's just jump into it. So uh, obviously, this is the hotfix for the 5th of December 2019. This is going to go live today on all platforms by 3 p.m. at PST. Uh, this hotfix addresses various issues rep reported, obviously, by the community. And hotfixes are actually applied on the main menu. So if you play offline, uh, you don't have to worry about any of the stuff. Because um, they have a thing now where if you go to the main menu and you're online, it will actually tell you when your hotfixes are applied. So with this hotfix, the Bloody Harvest event is fading from Borderlands. As the event ends, you will no longer see haunted enemies. You can no longer travel to heck or complete any Bloody Harvest challenges until the spooky season returns next year. Uh, they said thank you to everyone for the great feedback, your enjoyment and the amazing spooky shots taken with the photo mode within heck. Uh, we're taking what we've seen and we've heard from this event and are exploring how to apply these learnings to the next one. So let's start off here with the hotfix changes they're doing. So they've addressed a reported issue where loot was sometimes falling into a unreachable area in the Slaughter Star 3000. They addressed a reported issue with the movement speed bonus with Amara's passive ability, Mindfulness, when buffed with Spiritual Driver, the new class mod, was sometimes extremely high. So if you guys saw my build with Amara, you can essentially move insanely fast and do nuts damage with the Cutsman. So this looks like it's being, I guess, nerfed. So the Mindfulness was designed with the intent that reaching maximum stacks was not uh, easily achievable so the bonus per grade was high we want players to take advantage of move speed but not to the extent where parts of the game may not function correctly so uh, they addressed a reported issue with the spiritual driver class mod where it was sometimes awarding damage for all types of damage not just gun damage uh, they decreased the pet audio so flax jabber would be less vocal uh, they addressed an issue with zane's passive ability death follows close did not bring the correct bonus to several kill skills they've addressed a reported issue with zane's passive ability nerves of steel would sometimes lose functionality after fast traveling uh, they fixed typos on desperate measures and stainless steel bear skills for moes fixed multiple spots where players were sometimes able to escape the map in skywell 27 fixed multiple spots where players would sometimes get stuck in the amber mire they fixed various uh, issues in septic sluice and the green diamond platform that allowed players to reach unintended areas uh, fixed various areas on pandora that sometimes allowed players to escape the map fixed a reported issue where some players could not hear the flaming skulls from billy the anointed and the last one they have fixed a reported issue where bricks sledgehammer sometimes continued to spin after being thrown at an enemy during the mission hammer locked other than that, hotfixes are generally applied to smaller things. Obviously, while patches contain uh, code that must go through a lengthier patch progress. So the next big patch coming later this month will contain the first big DLC. As we know, the Moxie's heist of the handsome jackpot. Uh, it will also address reported concerns that we have seen in the last patch, including Guardian rank and additional vending machines in Skywall 27. So Moxie's heist of the handsome jackpot will actually arrive on December 19th. Uh, who have purchased the season pass or the borderlands 3 super deluxe edition so at the end of the month we can look forward to this new dlc alongside our malawan dlc that we had for free which is actually extremely good the fact that the malawan dlc was free and it had the amount of content in it it did uh, i'm actually really surprised so i'm excited to see this new big major paid dlc the moxie's heist um, all the new legendaries, all the new uh, class mods and stuff we're going to be getting with it. So definitely be sure you are subscribed to the channel with bell notifications on because I will be covering it extensively on the channel. Once again, if you'd like to pick up any cheap games, be sure to head over to G2A. And if you guys want to trade any guns, uh, legendaries, be sure to head over to my Discord. We're partnered, uh, discord.gg slash Willis. There's a trading channel. You can just jump in, trade with people on every single platform, PC, ps4 xbox it's just an awesome place if you're looking for a specific weapon and obviously if you want to make your builds but i hope you guys enjoyed uh this has been the patch notes for the 5th of december 2019 uh, i'll see you guys in my next video
Peace.